If you fancy knocking up this super quick prawn fajita on your next camping trip, or heck, just like middle of the week when the kids are driving you mad and everyone's starving, trust me, this one is really, really quick. Hey, how you doing? Welcome back. My name's Jane Sarche. I write recipes for a living. This is Myrtle and that gorgeous camper van. And it's together in this tiny little kitchen that we bring you guys awesome one pot camping recipes. Like the sound of that, then you need to subscribe and ding that little bell so you get notified each time we upload our latest video. All right, guess what? I'm hungry. Surprise! Let's get cooking, shall we? Prawn fajitas. So I've never done prawn fajitas on this channel. I have done chicken fajitas, I think, and I have already shown you my homemade fajita spice, or which is here. I have just topped it up. I should have perhaps done that on camera. I was too hungry and excited. It's like ground cumin, garlic powder, mm, black pepper salt, tiny bit of sugar, mm, smoked paprika, chili powder, mm, oregano. Mm, that might be it. Can't remember. I'll put all the ingredients here on the screen for you. Uh, and I'll also link to the blog post that goes along with this spice mix um, down below if you want to go and like have a proper read and actually find out what you're supposed to do. It's ever so easy though. You just like scoop them into a jar and shake. It's not exactly rocket science. All right, pan is getting nice and warm. I'm going to pop in about a tablespoon or so of oil. And first thing I'm getting in is my onion. And it's in quite big chunks today. I normally make my vegetables much, much smaller when I'm in here or when I'm cooking in here because I want them to cook quickly because we're all about preserving gas and whatever. Um, but I fancy chunkier vegetables today. So what's a girl to do, hey? This is going to take quite a while, this little step here. So I will probably whiz you forward in time to when we add the rainbow. <laughs> All right, I'm back. Let me turn the other camera back on. Um, my onions are on the verge of being burnt and they're probably still raw in the middle. Please learn from my mistake and slice your onion very, very, very thinly. Otherwise, you're going to have this strange concoction for your dinner too. And we don't want that. If I'd used red onion, it would be better as well because I don't mind slightly raw red onion in a, in a meal. But like that piece there, I mean, actually, it looks quite nice, but I would have liked them to be cooked longer. But I am actually really bored now, so I just want to get this meal done so that's that let's put our rainbow in now in goes that one red one yellow and one orange pepper these were quite small peppers so if the ones that you find at the supermarket or the farmer's market are monstrously huge then perhaps only do two this is enough food for two people so I would kind of go with what you can find and again I've done hoofing great chunks I was in a really big vegetable kind of mood today when I was chopping these up all right, my veggies are actually looking pretty damn good now. I have to say that is looking and smelling a blush up. So let's whack some of this fajita spice on. I'm going to go with two level teaspoons. And I'm also going to throw in the prawns. Um, I've got raw king prawns here. These are defrosted overnight. I'm going to pour the juice from the prawns in as well. All the flavour. And then we're just going to toss that all around together until those little prawns are covered in the spices and they're bright pink. Wow. Okay, this pan is going to be an absolute pain to clean after doing this, but wow. That looks amazing. Now, if you're low carb or keto, obviously stop at this point. This is all you need. You don't need the wrap. Um, you can, of course, add the sour cream and the coriander too if you want to. But this in itself is a really nice little meal. You don't actually need that wrap, but we can't really make you fajitas and not put it in a wrap, can we? So let's have a little taste to make sure these prawns are done. Wow. Right, heat off. I'm going to some of that fresh coriander or cilantro depending where you are and pop that in and just toss that round so that will just start to wilt down in there and I've saved a little bit at the end for the photos right and then let's dish up wow <laughs> isn't that pretty can you even see oh yeah that one a bit more fresh greenery 
Right, before I stuff this into my face, I am just going to quickly take a photo of it. Right, excuse me while I just put my plate on the floor to take a photo. Okay, now I'm going to put a dollop of sour cream on as well. I just wanted to get a photo without it because as soon as I put this on hot food, obviously it's just going to go bleh. So then we're just going to wrap it all up. Okay, I'm going in. That is amazing. Apart from the fact that I'm covered in sour cream and my wrap has erupted, well, happy lunchtime to me. If you enjoy this video, then please wallop that thumbs up for me and don't forget to subscribe and ding that bell so you get notified each time we upload our latest video for your viewing pleasure. And I guess that's it. I hope you have a lovely week. I hope you're safe and well, and I'll catch up with you in the next video. Until then, happy camping.